All right, everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to use Blender with ChatGPT. Now, if you don't know what ChatGPT is, ChatGPT is an AI language model that can provide valuable insights and suggestions when used with Blender. For example, I made this. It might not be the perfect uh, example, but I mean, it is something, I guess. So yeah, without further ado, let's begin. So first, we'll head to the website for ChatGPT. I'll leave a link in the description. Do note you need to make an account. It's not necessary to pay. So yeah, that's good. Okay. You, it's, you don't need to pay to use the program. So yeah. Okay. So let's see. Once you've logged in or signed up, you will be brought to this page. You click on new chat and make a new chat. Then you'll be able to send a message and you just send a message writing whatever you want, your demand to the AI. So let's say uh, in the example in the intro, I'd write something like, can you make a Python script? to add a bunch of spheres in Blender. Let's capitalize Blender. Something like that. And we just send a message. And most of the times the AI should be able to understand you. Now do note there's some requests that are like you need to be more specific or some requests, it's not something that AI can be done. So yeah, as you can see, it g goes right here and it starts writing the code for you. So it will just like do the code, run the code for a while. So yeah, again, uh, you might need to specify some things. You can't be a little bit too bland, but overall you'll know when the code is done running, when this shows up in the bottom then you can just click on copy code and let's head on to blender so now here we're here in blender let's open a new file general i won't save this okay then we can just simply go to the scripting tab click on new script and just paste your script and let's delete our default cubes we don't need it right now then we can just click right here to run the code and boom it added a bunch of spheres which is pretty simple there are more things they can do this uh program i think it's very powerful but i mean it's still just a new technology so i think there's more going for this in the future so yeah that's great so overall that's it you can go around and try messing around with the program maybe and try making some things uh, for example i tried to make a cat but it didn't go well i i'd say so yeah just try and let's see how it goes and yeah that's overall it for this video uh, if you enjoyed it don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you guys soon Bye-bye.